cafe anyway. Hi there, it's Mike. Mike's Daily Podcast. Hi, it's Mike Matthews, and it's FF episode 2681, 2681, and a program that it's simply titled Mike's Daily Podcast. It's a pretty good show, I guess. I'm a little bit biased, but let me tell you. I've listened to some other podcasts and the rest of them are just ew. Not so good. I try to do something a little bit different, a little fun, a little bit interrupting your normal life, making it somewhat interesting, this thing called life. Mike's Daily Podcast. With stuff that I find and I have not done this very daily lately. So I Mike's must explain. Daily. I'm going to explain to you. Podcast Where I have been Yeah I've been traveling around the world No, not that much of the world Just a little bit of the Bay Area I had Monday and Tuesday off So didn't want to do a podcast those days Because, you know, I don't want you to get too tired of me And I didn't want to get tired of you So that's how, we, you know, we need a little time apart Everybody needs a little time away I heard her say From each other Even lovers need a holiday Far away from the one that you love Thank you David Foster in Chicago For that wonderful song So what it is was I went to Benicia So I'm pretty sure the podcast picture Will be of my favorite place To go to when I have some time off or it'll be Half Moon Bay Also went there as well And I, I walked around Martinez I walked around The fine town Of Half Moon Bay And That's where I was So you might be saying Mike I don't care That's fine You, you you're, Maybe you're demanding To know what is today Because I'm listening to this on the 29th of September Almost the end of September Here we go Today is National Wildlife Refuge Day. And here's today's podcast picture. Which I guess corresponds with what I was visiting. We'll have some wildlife here in this podcast picture. See it at mikesdailypodcast.com from my mic excursion over the past couple of days. It's also National Coffee Day. And oh, I have to have coffee every day or I get the headache. But I sure do not I You know It's It is a fine line Isn't it Coffee It's like bitter It's awful But you can Doctor it up And make it taste wonderful Or You develop a Taste for the The roasted bean Of your choice Here's the late Great Basil Boxer Who Didn't really go for beans He was um, More More of a I will eat Anything else that you give me, Mike. Even a carrot from time. Actually, my cat, Rocky, has eaten carrots in front of me. That was odd. I felt kind of awkward after the, you know, what are you doing? You're a cat. You're not supposed to do that. What? But you ate you ate some carrots. Okay. Alright. I know your eyes already you see in the dark. Just it's a, it's a little redundant to eat the carrots on top of that. But well, there's a strike going on. Did you hear about this? Did you did you notice? It's all over the place. It was in the debates. They were talking about the strike. P- Pence saying, "I stand with the workers, but the companies. I stand with the companies, and I want the companies to win. But I don't want the. But I do want the 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 union workers to win too because I want them to vote for me. And then meanwhile, Trump, because he didn't want to be at the debate. Because he's like, I don't want to, you know, I'm sailing with the eagles. Why do I need to hang out with the turkeys? He didn't say that exactly. But hey, if he's listening, he can borrow it. He had a, he spoke at a, at a, at a non-union show. A fine article. Call, 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 call. You city great fat article. Article. Blue collars. What color is your color? It doesn't matter. The color of the collar. Well, perhaps you work at Tesla. 
not sure what colors they're wearing these days, but Tesla is benefiting from the UAW strike. While everyone is focused on who will blink first, that looks like one person is already being declared a winner, Elon Musk. Tesla is already enjoying a major cost advantage over its competition thanks to more streamlined production processes and lower wages for his non-unionized workers. Ah, so it is non-unionized. The UAW employees are very likely to see increased wages when this labor dispute ends. We'll see. Tesla's labor costs about 45 bucks an hour compared to GM, Stellantis, and Ford. They get an estimated 66 an hour. So 20 bucks more to work with the UAW. And if the UAW gets the dramatic pay bumps it initially sought, labor costs for Detroit's big three would swell to 136 bucks an hour. Dang. This year, Tesla has slashed its car prices. Their Q2 profits, though, rose 20%. So what could slow Tesla's role? Possibly that the UAW strike, if successful at securing higher wages, could galvanize Tesla workers to unionize at Musk's factories. He's got a factory not too close, not too far away. Well, actually not too close to Podcaster Valley. Fremont. I mean, you wouldn't want to walk to Fremont. But yes, you can take public transit to Fremont. Rather easily And avoid using cars altogether And then that puts everybody off Because they're Hey you're not even using the thing that we're making Mike's out of left field recordings Recording everything Captures actions that will never again be repeated (laughs) So I have never worked for a union. As we go outside a cafe anyway, where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast, somewhere in Podcast Drove Alley. Anyway. The last place on earth. Yes, radio has a union, but I have always worked for stations that did not have unions. So I don't really know what it's like. I don't like the whole paying dues thing. That kind of puts me off. Of course, with, with a union, you're supposed to make a lot more money, but does it end up canceling itself out? Oh, my cat is stuck on my shirt with his claw. I'm not sure how it all works. Magnification. But it, it is, it was talked about during the debates last night. It is a topic. And especially with all the strikes we've had this year, the writer's strike, the hotel worker strike in Los Angeles. Kombucha. And now we return you to our regularly scheduled program with Mike Matthews. The cat is sitting on my lap and distracting me. Gas prices hit 2023 highs as oil chugs higher. I got this from Rob Black. I produce this podcast. The Rob Black Show. He talks about all kinds of money things. Very impressive, important stuff. And my cat smells like cat pee. That's not really the best thing in the world, is it? Gas prices hit new 2023 highs. As a squeeze on oil supply sent prices of refined refined products higher. The price of diesel, which used to transport goods via is used to transport goods via trucks, was up 23 cents from one month ago. Other refined products like jet fuel have also been on the rise. Several airlines, including United, Delta, and American, sounded the alarm recently on lower profits amid higher fuel costs. Higher energy costs are raising concerns of negative impact on the broader economy at a time when the Federal Reserve is trying to curb inflation. So MGM Resort suffered a massive hack that critically disrupted its business. Last year, U.S. companies spent $73 billion on cybersecurity. So it is definitely a thing, cybersecurity. And making sure that you have good data hygiene. Change your password. Get the triple verification thing. So companies paid at least $456 million 
to ransomware attackers. And I want to tell you right now, as a podcaster, as someone that does a talk show here in the internet land. Whoa! Mike's Matthewsman Park. Front panel will close automatically. Please remain seated at all times. Magnificent. The amount of money per hour a Tesla worker makes at 45 versus GM, Stellantis, and Ford, $66. All these numbers mean nothing. When you hear it and you're just hearing words, it's very difficult to, to start to quantify imagination imagery in your head when you're hearing it. You have to be listening rather closely so I try to tell you to say in the best possible way, look, I try and put a little uh, check mark on it and say, that's a lot. <laughs> I, I might even just stop giving you the numbers because in the end, it doesn't really matter. You're not, oh wow, I just quoted Lincoln Park. Dang, look at me doing the Lincoln Park quoting. Well, so, any talk show host who's worth his salt or her salt will not use that much salt because it is not really good for your diet. I mean, we get enough salt from stuff as it is to over salt is, is not good for your blood pressure, etc. But at the same time, using the numbers, people aren't really getting it. California is suing energy giants, speaking of energy and power and Fuel and everything The state of California filed a lawsuit against Exxon Mobil, Shell, BP That is British P Petroleum ConocoPhillips, Chevron And the American Petroleum Institute The US oil industry's biggest lobby Alleging that they misled the public For decades about the dangers of fossil fuels California has dealt with Record heat, wildfires And unusual bouts of severe Rain and snow As well as rising sea levels so we collectively feel a sort of climate change is happening. Though some people will say, oh, it's always been hot. Oh, the weather's always been nasty. But I would like to point out to you our wonderful Governor Gavin Newsom. The Fascinating Material Project. FM Project. I might, I might not have voted for him last time. We'll just leave it at that. But the time before that, I think I did. I don't know. It's. Do you remember who you voted for? I know Gavin's been upsetting me lately because he was supposed to crack down on leaf blowers and there's still leaf blowers everywhere and they are annoying and destroy the environment more than anything. I hate them and the noise. They destroyed the air and they destroyed the, the sounds, the, the, the soundscape and the landscape. But... I mean, they clean up the landscape. The airscape is not so good. So I got mad at Gavin with that. I didn't vote for him last time. But you know, he apparently has raised minimum wage or he's in the process of raising minimum wage for fast food restaurants. I think that are national. He wants them to pay at least 20 bucks an hour. I hate fast food. I don't like what it does to my body. I don't like what they do them to manipulate me with their amazing commercials. <laughs> the, the smells that emanate from their places as I drive by. So is this going to make all the fast food places disappear from California? Maybe that's not a bad thing. Who knows? All I know is there is... The 90% of the trash that I see on the road Comes from fast food places People don't care That eat fast food They just chuck it on the street Ginormous It is um, probably You know Just my opinion I guess about that But That's all I have for you today About all that stuff But if you'd like to chime in And disagree with me Hey I understand 510 is my number 510-228-4640 I'm in the 510 area code I am in the East Bay And I just like I, I am happy I can take a breath again I was walking around with a dry cough For a while I don't know where that came from But I'm feeling a little better That maybe there was something in the air I know we did get a lot of smoke From some of the fires up north And 
how many people have said that sentence in the past all over the country? Smoke coming down from Canada affecting the East Coast. Smoke coming from all, all over the place causing us to have more difficulty breathing. I don't think I'm going to see Barbie. Woo! I'm going to throw that out there. I'm not going to do it, it until it's just something that, oh, it happens to be on Netflix. I'll watch it then. I don't see, I, I just heard today in Russia, there somebody got in a bootleg copy and the government doesn't want people to watch it because they think it's a, you know, it's propaganda for America, as you would expect Russia to think. But wow, I saw clips from it. I watched the honest trailers for it. Looks like it's mostly shot in Venice, in long the Los Angeles area, just uh, north of no wait, south of Santa Monica. Why do your toenails look like that? Toda. I don't get. I don't know. I know there's all kinds of. It's uh, half <laughs> the wonderful folks at Honest Trailers said. You know, in a in a world where they say you go broke if you go woke, that is it did the exact opposite of that. So I don't know. Might have a good message behind it. It might be funny. I'm I don't see the need, but we'll see. You know who I do see outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth right now. It's somebody. Whose initials are CS? Hello, Mike Matthews. It's Shelly. You heard the good chef's supervisor. Yeah, I spell Shelly with a C H. Mike Matthews. That's great. Do you have any Barbie snow globes that you're selling at the gift shop? No, Mike Matthews. I'm not going to do that because I might get sued by Mattel, Mike Matthews. Wow. Okay. It's a lot of uh, ex- extenuated S's in what you were saying. I know my pants. Isn't that awesome? Aren't you glad you're not Phil Henry? You know, <laughs> I, li- I had to listen to his podcast. I remember his radio show. I remember when you heard his show on AM radio, it sounded really good. Because what he would do is he had a phone and he would pretend he was a talk show host. And then he'd take calls, but they were actually him. And I had the honor about the time he got really popular in LA, I got to see his studio and I got to see how he did it. And I stu- I was only in his studio for maybe a minute and I studied everything I saw, just absorbed it. And I'm like, oh, so he has the microphone on, but he has the phone wired through the, the board. We call it the board, the mixing board, you know, with the sliders and everything, the volume adjustment. And he does this and he had a piece of tape on the board and he could bring up the volume of the phone to a certain extent and then talk into it as his character voice and then pull it down when he was talking normal. And it had this effect of he was using he wasn't using digital technology. He was just using stuff that was laying around phones and stuff. And that was amazing. But then, and, and then he made it quite popular on, what's that show, Futurama? He played one of the characters on there. He's been on a lot of shows and movies. He was in the sitcom New Girl. He was in the movie This Is 40. So he's gotten pretty popular. And he's the go-to, rate whenever they need somebody that's radio in a TV show or a movie, they grab him. But his podcast, oh my gosh, it's horrible. He, he doesn't do any of the disguising of the character voices when he does the character voices. Like he used to hide through the phone and it sounded real. But now he just talks into the microphone. It's ridiculous. Shelly, I just, I am not. You will travel into the incredible universe. Like that's nobody asked you. I was just saying it doesn't really work. <laughs> but you know Keep on trying Phil You have 70 zillion Downloads And a bazillion listeners And I have I think one That might just be me Listening to the podcast uh, in, In a later date Which is so pathetic But yes Look who else is here Oh Mike This is Floyd the floor man And this is John Deere The engineer Yeah Phil Henry Is really a talented guy mm mm-hmm. Yes, I, I had to check him. You know, 
he, it's been a long time. You know, you know, you know, you know, is my crutch word today. I'm throwing, you knows everywhere, but you know, that's it. That's all I had today. I think I should wrap it up and end it and put a pin in it here. But if you would like to call in and comment about anything, perhaps you'd like to call in about some of the bizarre things I play. I interrupt my podcast now all the time with little things we call sweepers. But I'm going to give it a cool name. I'm going to call them Little Mike Matthews Bombs. M- Mike Matthews... Math- Mike Matthewsing b- 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 bits. Little here and there. Little intros to things. So I've been littering my podcast with those lately. And I hope you're enjoying them. If not, you can call me at 510-228-4640. And with more ways to reach me, it's A-Frame. Oh, my God. Mail, 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 mail. Email for mail and your calm and not so calm mess. Oh, yeah, I just got a comment. I did, yes, okay, and it was actually, it was an email to me at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. But it was a comment in the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Mike's Daily Podcast. Somebody said, your title of your podcast is not, I, I forget what they said, I deleted it. But it was a comment that said something, that, your title says nothing about your show, I think is what they said. So, okay, I will take that and use that wonderful piece of advice. And my advice to you is when you write a sentence, since we are all living in America, or I am anyway, as I'm reading your comment, why don't you try using things like capitalization and periods and punctuation? You know, something we call grammar. Use that, please, when you are commenting. It makes makes it at least be a little dignified you know you know you know you know now it's the end mike's daily podcast is written and produced and performed by mike matthews his podcast is super easy to find download or listen to his show and read his blog at mike's daily podcast.com email mike now at mike's daily podcast at gmail.com see you tomorrow bye